Healthy soil, just like healthy people, requires a balanced combination of elements. Each of those elements has a key role in the various processes of your plant. For example, iron serves as the ignition for the plants to produce chlorophyll and is crucial for photosynthesis. Your soil must be fed with organic matter in order to stay in good health and support growing plants. 1. Coffee Grounds While you never want to pour out leftover liquid coffee into your soil or plants due to its acidity, coffee grounds aren't acidic and are outstanding for raising the nitrogen level in the soil, which is why so many gardeners have been using it for many years now. The grounds contain a large amount of nitrogen and can help your plants grow faster, whether it's tomatoes or grass. They also contain potassium and phosphorus, which means the grounds offer all three of the essential ingredients for fertilizer. 2. Banana Skins We love bananas, which means for most of us, we end up with lots of banana peels. These are great for putting to use in your garden soil, as they make one of the best fertilizers around, as they're high in calcium phosphorus, and potassium, as well as a host of other minerals that are essential to the soil's health. There are lots of ways to use those peels, too. For example, you can chop them up into about one quarter inch pieces, which triggers the composting process and releases some of the beneficial vitamins and minerals in them. Then, add them directly to the soil, burying them anywhere from just beneath the surface up to four inches down. You can also grind up the peels, dry them, and add them to fertilizer. 3. Eggshells you can make good use of eggshells as they're loaded with calcium. Placing crushed eggshells in the soil that's around your tomato plants can help prevent blossom end rot. Sprinkle them around the base of plants to help keep those pesky snails and slugs away and add them to your compost bin as their lime content helps to reduce acidity. 3. Fish heads and other fish parts You can grind up fish parts and make your own fertilizer. Another option is to bury chunks of fish at the root of your plants. If you do this, just be sure to bury it very deeply, as wildlife or dogs are likely to be very curious about that smell and could dig up your garden. 5. Ashes Like many others who live in rural areas, you may have a burn pile where you dispose of things like old trimmed branches, storm debris, and so on. While you don't want to put it in your compost pile, it can be used in your garden soil as it has a high alkaline content as well as trace amounts of potassium and calcium to help encourage blooms. If you have acidic soil, you can sprinkle the ashes around plants that thrive in alkaline soil, such as lilac, roses, and hydrangea.